G'day golfers. Today's lesson is all about the role of the lead arm in the golf swing. So for most of you right-handers out there, that's your left arm. And it's often forgotten or neglected in the golf swing, but it's so, so important. It can affect your grip, your takeaway, your backswing, your downswing, even how far you hit the golf ball. And of course, we've got a great drill to help you be stronger and have better control over your lead arm in the golf swing. I'm Glenn Haynes. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros, where we help you make the most of your game. Golf is very much a two-sided game. So if you become dominant with the bottom hand, then this can really cause some issues in your setup and your swing. So starting with setup, it's very easy, and we see this with a lot of lady golfers, is the left arm, the lead arm, isn't particularly strong, and the bottom hand takes over, and we end up with a very weak grip. I've seen some grips where the lead arm and the hand is very much underneath here, just because it's not very strong. And that's why we call it a weak grip. We need it to be two-sided, so we definitely want to get that wrist of the lead arm on top of the club more in a stronger position, and that's going to help you to hit it further and more consistently. So just check where your wrist is. We want that wrist on top of the club there. We don't want it underneath. That's a very weak position. And the bottom hand, if it's taking over, can really affect our takeaway. We can get in the takeaway back here behind us, or we can pick the club up really steeply all because the bottom hand is taking over too much. It affects different people in different ways. If we get the lead arm in control, it's much easier to get the club going straighter back and on a more consistent plane. And the other thing that we really want the lead arm to do is maintain width. We don't want to be collapsing the lead arm and getting this overswing. That causes all sorts of power loss issues, casting, early release and obviously a lack of consistency because there's so much collapsing going on. You're trying to get the right amount of width into the downswing so that we can hit the ball cleanly. So we want that lead arm fairly extended. We don't want it rigid. That can create some injury and some tendonitis, but we want it extended. Even if it's just soft arm, we don't want it to be collapsing because the club gets really close to us. We lose power, we lose consistency. A weak grip and lead side and an overactive bottom hand often leads towards casting and collapsing of the lead side after impact. And then in the downswing, if the bottom hand's taking over, and this is the classic one, is we can come over the top as that bottom hand and the trail shoulder throw the club over the top there. And obviously that's where we get a lot of those pull shots and slices. And we obviously see that very commonly as well. It's very easy to fall into the trap of letting the bottom hand take over because for most people, the bottom hand is the strong hand. Now I'm naturally right-handed, which means I have more dexterity in my right side, but it doesn't mean that it's stronger than my left side. I've maintained symmetry, and most elite golfers will maintain symmetry from one side to the other, because it's a two-sided game. So how do we train that lead arm to get it to do what we want it to do? To maintain width in the swing, and to get that club on plane in both the backswing and the downswing. Well, here's a great drill that's really going to strengthen up that lead arm and help it to be more effective in the golf swing and help you hit the ball further. So just hold the club with your lead arm only. So obviously we want that wrist of your glove hand on top. That's that more powerful position. And just by holding the club with one hand, that's going to happen automatically. You're not going to get many people that want to hold it like that if the bottom hand's out of the equation. So wrist on top, and we're going to get the bottom hand and we're going to clasp our forearm like this. So obviously this isn't a very strong position because it's your weak arm for most golfers and you've only got one hand on the club. That's okay, we're not gonna hit it very far. We're just going to get that lead arm to learn what we want it to do, to maintain width and get on plane. So we're gonna take some mini swings, just trying to brush the grass and, and look, you're gonna miss it, you're gonna chunk some, that's fine. But we're hanging on to that lead forearm the whole time and that's helping that takeaway maintain that width we're not going to collapse like this. You pretty much find it almost impossible to collapse. And you'll also notice for a lot of golfers that the backswing will be a little shorter. That's fine. We can extend that later, but let's get that lead arm to behave the way we want it to do. So a few more of those. That's it, it's just starting to brush that grass. And then obviously we're going to hit the golf ball. Doesn't have to go far. If it goes 20 yards, that's fine. What I will guarantee you here is that you're gonna miss hit some, and I'm gonna miss hit some here, because it's a very challenging drill. That was thin. 
So that's okay. We're just training that lead arm. Obviously, we're going to strive for as good a contact as we can get. Let's see if we can go a little lower. There we go, just a little too heavy, but that's all right. You're gonna miss hit a lot of these. It's very challenging because you're using that arm that isn't as dexterous, it's not used to it. It's probably easier just to hit one-handed shots with the bottom hand, but we want that lead arm to have its own say in the golf swing as well. We don't want it to be neglected. Here we're training the lead side to be stronger, which improves lag for a better impact position and increased compression. There's better contact there. So they're going around as a nine iron, they're going around 40 or 50 yards, and that's all you need to do to start with. By all means, if you can improve the strength of that and, and you get strong with that lead arm, then you are gonna start to hit the ball further and more consistently, and that's our goal. Strengthening and training your lead arm can go a long way to help you to improve your consistency with your golf swing. Now couple that with these simple tips to help you with your consistency with your irons, you can really start to zero in on the pin and save you plenty of strokes out in the golf course. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to your company next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?